Hey everybody, this is Scott Wellington. Um, I'm going to go with where I was living at the time now, and I appreciate all the support I'm getting on YouTube. Um, I came back to Utah, like I said, and I lived in Salt Lake, and I went to Salt Lake Community College for, well, for two or three years, but I got the two-year degree from there, and I uh, Many of my friends were getting married, so I was very lost, to be honest. And I followed so many of the people around me, um, and I got married. And uh, I had my first son, and then I went also went to the University of Utah, and uh, attended there, and thought I had stuff figured out, but uh, I was still very confused and I had my second son well my wife ex-wife my wife at the time had my second son at in Salt Lake City Utah and I was 20 27 years old and I had two sons and I hadn't finished my degree and I was as lost as I could be I was so lost and so confused and instead of getting married and having kids, what I should have done was tried more stuff and figured myself out. And uh, I don't regret being married. I don't regret having my sons, but I should have been a little more selfish at the time. And that's my advice to my sons and to anybody listening is don't rush into stuff because other people are doing it. They're just as confused as you are. You'll find that out later. Um, follow yourself. Try everything. Sample everything. Seriously, pretend that life is a buffet and just sample everything. And if you don't like it, you don't have to eat more. But uh, yeah, that's what I mean by choose positivity over negativity or over confusion. Be positive and be in 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 your decisions and be have a positive attitude have a optimistic attitude um there's a lot of good things that came out of my decisions and i don't really regret that but looking back you know like so many people do it's like okay i could have done things a little more better but like I said, I was confused, I was scared, and I thought I was the only one that was lost. I picked on me and just followed everyone else because I thought they were making the right decisions at the time. And uh, so that's why I make these videos and why I preach to be optimistic. Be optimistic because negative stuff's going to happen all the time. That's what I've learned. Negative stuff is going to happen all the time, but you can not necessarily ignore it, but you can choose to be positive and not let bad things define who you are. You can choose to be upbeat, and it just seems like in the world today with all the challenges that we're having, um, most people are running around with fear and negativity, and it's sad. I it's really sad. I think we'll get it figured out as a species, but you know, more people will become positive, but it, it seems like right now things are so negative and negativity is so loud and, uh, dude, just be quiet, work hard, save your money, all the stuff that no one wants to hear. You know, it's amazing to me when I watch the videos of people saying, oh, start a business, and they're in front of a friggin' expensive car or in front of an airplane or whatever. They don't own that. You know, they're just saying, we're a million dollars a year is the entry level to being successful. 98, I think 98% of the people, the entry level of the top 4% of people is 400000 a year. Now, at 400000 a year, I could solve a lot of my problems. Um, but, like I said, it's a choice. You can choose to be optimistic or you can choose to be negative. I've seen people very, very happy making 80000 a year. 
I've seen people very, very miserable making 120,000 a year. And so it's just your choice. You can choose to be optimistic and that's what I recommend. Uh, choose to be, to be positive, choose to be optimistic and choose to be a leader, choose to lead people. It's not always easy. It's not always fun. Uh, it's not always recording or recording, rewarding, but always, always, always choose who you are. You know, don't just let life happen. I, I got very inspired by a person who's a quadriplegic. He's lost all use of his arms and legs, and yet he's happy. I've personally, I've seen veterans, you know, get their legs blown off by an AED and have people say, well, how can you smile when you don't have any legs? He's like, well, how can you not smile and have legs? And I think that's very important. Choose to smile. Choose to be happy. Thanks.